Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to FA Cup predictions. The first time ever this season I spoke about the FA Cup. This is the real time where it gets on the way to Wembley. So anyway guys, just stuck on the way to Wembley, let's get going with a big crap fun topic if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to go try and predict is Swindon Town versus Man City. Don't know much about Swindon Town if I'm being brutally honest this season. I do think they're in League One. On the other side of that, Man City are playing really good football at this minute. Just barely beating Arsenal in the Premier League though. They're expecting the reserves against uh, Swindon Town on the City side of this thing. So, and I'm going to go with a City win. I think even their reserve squad are pretty good. So, I'll go stick up for a City win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 City win. My next one is Mansfield versus Middlesbrough. I don't know much about two clubs, but considering I'll go through every FA Cup tie, we're going to just go with a straight prediction of a 2-0 Middlesbrough win. The next one is Bristol City versus Fulham. Fulham doing ever so well in the Championship. I think they're top. I could be wrong. Bristol City are doing okay in the Championship also. But it's going to be a very interesting game between the two. Don't forget no replays now due to the you know best schedule that's been packed on in the uh, EFL and in the Premier League due to the pandemic. So I'm going to go for after extra time. Actually no, I'm going to go in extra time and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Fulham win. My next one is Burnley versus Huddersfield. Burnley, to me, are really struggling in the Premier League at this present time. It's going to be a very interesting game against Huddersfield. Will this turn their season around? We're going to have to wait and see. But I'm going to predict an upset for this one. And I'm going to predict a 1-0 Huddersfield win. My next one is Coventry versus Derby County. Derby County draw it to Reading in their last championship game. Very good comeback by Derby. Coventry are doing ever so well in the championship as well. Both different ends of the table, which probably means both, you know, different goals in this competition for both clubs. So I'm going to go for a 3-1. No, but that sounds a bit... Um, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Coventry win. My next one is Hartlepool versus Blackpool. Hartlepool, I think, are in none league. And Blackpool are in the championship. I could be wrong. But it's going to be a very interesting game. Straight to penalties, Blackpool win 6-5 uh, on penalties. My next one is Millwall versus Crystal Palace. A big London game between two you know, big London clubs or you know, London clubs. It's going to be a very interesting game. Millwall, I don't have a plan too badly in the Championship, nor or Palace in the Premier League at this present time. They have gone through a bit of a dippy spell, you know, Palace this season, but I'm going to go for a shock for this one, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Millwall win. My next one is Barnsley versus Barrow. Barrow are in League 2, I believe, and Barnsley are in the championship, not quite sure where they are in the championship. But just as I said, going for a straight prediction. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Barnsley win. My next one is Boring Wood versus AFC Wimbledon. Boring Wood, I still believe are in the league, I could be wrong. AFC Wimbledon, I believe are in League 1. Let, let's go for a shock for this one, and I'll go for a 2 0 Boring Wood win because I know how well I can play as well. My next one is Kilimanjaro Harriets versus Reading. Now, Kilimanjaro Harriets did have that big game against Salford, where Salford were 4 0 down and came back 4 4 in 10 minutes. I, you know, so they were involved in that game and it was actually at their ground. I ain't going to cause a shock for this one though. Quite easy Reading win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Reading win. My next one is an old league Premier League tie between Leicester and Watford. Leicester, you know, playing okay in the Premier League. Watford are actually just sitting 17th in the Premier League. I think just three points off the relegation zone. 
Surely it's going to be much easier for us to go through, and that's exactly what I'm going to go for with a 3 0 Leicester win. My next one is Newcastle versus Cambridge United. Newcastle are doing, you know, sitting in a relegation zone. Pony put bits of Akira Trippier at, at who is that currently out at Alfred Le Madrid. But um, Cambridge are playing in League One, but I'll go, go for a Newcastle win of 2 0. My next one is Peterborough versus Bristol Rovers. Peterborough, I believe, are in the Championship. I'm not too sure. Bristol Rovers, I believe, maybe League One. But anyway, just a quick prediction for this one. 1-1 one, one goes all the way to penalties, and I believe Peterborough will win it about 4-3. My next one, Paul Fowl against Brentford. Just a straight prediction for this one. I think Brentford will win it quite comfortably with a 3 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is QPR versus Wolverham. QPR in the Championship, Wolverham in League One. Now, Wolverham do have a tendency to bounce between League One and the Championship. Not quite sure where they are in League One, but you know, they do play some really good football at times. Same with QPR. I believe QPR are in the playoff places as it stands, but. No matter what I say about these table positions at this time, it really doesn't mean a thing. But I'm going to go for a QPR win, and I'm going to go for a 3-0 QPR win. My next one is West Bromwich Albion versus Brian Ove Albion. Now, obviously, Brian's from where I'm from, and it's who I support. It's a really, we've got some really interesting results up at West Brom. And we've also got some very disappointing results up at West Brom. However, this game, Brian do look really good in the Premier League at this present in time. Currently sitting in ninth in the Premier League. West Brom went through a draw against Cardiff in their last uh, result against uh, Cardiff. So I'm going to go for a Brighton win and I'm going to go for a 3 1 Brighton win. My next one is Wigan Athletic versus Blackburn Rovers. Both clubs, I believe, are in the Championship. Blackburn probably more. Slightly, you know, maybe go get the result, but I'm gonna go for a 1 1 scoreline and then a 6 5 Wigan win on penalties. My next one is Birmingham versus Plymouth Argyle. Birmingham are currently sitting in the championship, Plymouth Argyle, I believe, are League One again. I'm not too sure, please don't quote me. I'm you know, when I'm getting these league wrong, I'm trying to guess. I'm going to go for a Birmingham win, and I think I need it. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 Birmingham win. My next one is Chelsea versus Chesterfield. Quite easy Chelsea win with a 3 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Hull versus Everton. Hull City currently in the Championship, apparently waiting for a takeover bid. It's going to be a very interesting game between these two. Because Everton's ain't had, having the best of times in the Premier League either. Currently, uh, they lost to Brighton in their last result. And, you know, it's not looking great from being brilliant. I'm going to go for a whole win for this one, I think. I'm going to go for the shock. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 whole win. It's a bit too tight game down there, but I believe I might just do it. My next one is Swan uh, Swansea City versus Southampton. Quite easy, Southampton win and a 2-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Yeovil Town versus Bournemouth. Yet again, I believe Yeovil are maybe the two, maybe non league. As I said, please don't quote me on that, on these when I'm trying to get the leagues. But I'm going to go for a Bournemouth win and I'm going to go for a 3-0 three, three Bournemouth win. My next one is Luton Town versus Harrogate. Harrogate, I've seen once play this season in League 2, going up against the Championship squad as if uh, Luton. But do I, I don't believe Harrogate will win this game, though. I believe it'll be a 3 1 Luton win. My next one is Cardiff versus Plymouth Argyle. Cardiff currently sitting in the Championship. As I said, they did draw to West Brom. Very big. Controversial game there. Um, if you haven't seen it or like the highlights, I advise you to go and watch that because there will be a few, you know, points where it could have switched for either team. 
Don't look at uh, Preston North End side. That does do okay in the championship. But I'm going to go for a Cardiff win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Cardiff win. My next one is Charlton Athletic versus Norwich. Now, Charlton Athletic are okay in the championship. Norwich are struggling in the Premier League. Charlton win 2-1. My next one is Liverpool versus Shrewsbury. Now, how much I, you know, it'd be a big upset for Shrewsbury to go beat Liverpool at Anfield. I can't see it happening. I'm going to go for a 2-0 Liverpool win. Because I'm leaving I put the young boys out as well. Next one is Stoke versus Lake Norian. Now, Stoke are doing okay in the championship. I don't think Luton, uh, Lake, sorry, Lake Norian might be in League One. But I'm going to go stick up for Stoke, who are doing okay in the championship, by the way. And I'm going to go for a 3 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Tottenham Hotspur versus Morecambe. Now, Tottenham Hotspur are doing okay in the championship. As I'm, as I'm doing this video, still yet to play in the League Cup as well, uh, in the semi-finals of that. So, going up against a Morecambe team that, you know, I don't think will cause much problems. So, I'm going to go for a Tottenham win, and I'm going to go for a 5-0 Tottenham win. My next one is West Ham versus Leeds United. Now, Leeds United, you know, big three points against Burnley they got in their previous result. West Ham flying high in the Premier League. Two Premier League clubs coming at it. Obviously, as I said, there'll be no replays involved in this season as far as I know. So, I'm going to go for a West Ham win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 West Ham win. I don't think Leeds will put up a fight because they've got to think of their Premier League survival. But they've got big three points, but still a long way to go. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Sheffield United. Now, Wolverhampton, yet again... Big three points against United in their previous result. Sheffield United doing I okay can the championship. Lucky to get back in the Premier League. Will it happen? We're gonna have to wait and see. But as I said, Wolverhampton big three points for you know the uh for Wolves at Old Trafford. Quite easy Wolves win, but a very nitty, very gritty one 0 Wolves win. My next one is Nottingham Forest versus Arsenal. Now Nottingham Forest are doing mm, Sort of an iffy okay in the Premier League. Arsenal, oh, not in the Premier League, in the Championship. Arsenal are doing ever so well in the Premier League, currently in the top four as I'm recording this. Quite easy, I think Arsenal will win it, but I'm expecting a nitty gritty 2 1 Arsenal win. My last one is Man United versus Aston Villa. Now, Man United did lose to Wolverhampton and stuff, just quoted. Aston Villa lucky to get back on winning ways with this be the turning point. I think both teams will actually try and go for this as a turning point. Do I believe Man United would do it? Anything I've played against Wolves, no, I believe Villa would do it, and that's exactly what I'm going to predict. And I'm going to predict a 2 1 Villa win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do if you enjoyed this video. Give a big fat thumbs up, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.